Okay, here's quite a neat trick. It's quite easy to do a type of skin smoothing with Capture One Pro. All you need to do is to use multiple layers of clarity on a masked section of the skin. Basically, you just mask off the sections of skin that you would like to smooth and then just use multiple layers of clarity to perform the smoothing. OK, let's start by masking the skin. Press M to make the mask visible and B to bring up the brush. Right click for mask settings. Size that's about right, hardness about 50-ish. Opacity I want to be at maximum and flow around 49.50 is fine. And then just start to draw the mask. I'm going to draw an outline around the whole of her skin to start with. For this demonstration, I'm not going to have to be too particular. You can be much more accurate when creating your own masks. I'm just roughly tracing around the whole of the head, neck and shoulders, including the ear. And luckily, because this is a plain background, I don't have to be very accurate at all. If you want to create a better mask, then you may want to use the refine mask function or the feather mask on the layer. OK, that'll do. That's a pretty good outline. OK, I have my outline, so now I'll right click on the mask that was created when I initialized the brush and then choose fill mask. OK, so the mask is filled and we have all of our skin selected. Now we just need to erase the mask from the places we don't want to smooth. I'll select the erase brush by pressing E on the keyboard. Then using the mouse wheel, I'll just zoom in, right click to select the size and start to erase the mask from the places where I don't want it. I definitely don't want to smooth that leaf. I'll do the eyebrows. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a demonstration. OK, very quickly, that'll do. Now I'll do the eyes. I don't want the eyelashes or the eyeballs to be smoothed. OK, looking good. Pan across. Quickly do the other eye. And there we go. That's about it for the eyes. I'll just move down to the mouth and do the lips and the teeth. So all over the lips, like so. I really don't want a smooth, blurry mouth. I'm just doing this nice and quickly for now. It doesn't have to be too perfect. As I say, you could refine the mask for better results in your own edits. And here we go, the final few strokes to make sure we don't have the mouth masked. Let's zoom out and take a look at how it looks. I think that'll work quite well. That's not a bad mask at all. And now just press M on the keyboard again to hide the mask. Now, to smooth the skin, all we have to do is go to the clarity panel and slide the clarity all the way to the left. And there we are. As you can see, right away we have some skin smoothing. I think we should have a little look at our work. Just press Alt and press this little icon here to temporarily reset the clarity panel. Before and after and before and after. And as you can see, we now have some skin smoothing. If we want to smooth it even more, all we have to do is go to the Layers panel and add a new layer. Just click on the little plus, then right click on our new layer and select Copy Mask from Layer 1, which is where our skin mask resides. And now it's in our second layer too. So back down to the clarity panel and left with the clarity slider. And now, as you can see, we have even smoother skin. Let's take a look. We'll just hold Alt and select the Reset All Adjustments button here. Before and after and before and after. One more for fun. Add another layer. Right click and copy mask from and layer 2 down to the clarity and all the way to the left and that is some serious skin smoothing
it's obviously way overdone, but this is just a demonstration. I'm just showing the technique. Though I really do think it looks sort of cool in its own way. Now, if you would like to bring back a little texture into the skin, then this can be achieved by going down to the clarity panel and increasing the structure. That brings a bit of detail back and looks a little more natural. Now, I think even though this looks a little overdone, a bit plasticky, I think it's still a really interesting technique. One more look, before and after, and before and after. And that's how by using multiple layers and clarity on masked areas of skin, you can create what I think is quite a nice smoothing effect. And of course, it also works on men too. Here we have a very handsome gentleman who actually has really good skin, but I'm going to smooth it and make him younger. I've pre-created my mask here, no need to show you that again. I'll press M just to show you, there we go. I've just roughly masked out the bits of skin that I'd like to smooth, leaving out the detail areas. So I'll just apply full negative clarity and instantly he's about five years younger. So let's take five more years off with another layer. New layer, right click, copy mask from layer one, down with the clarity and now he's 10 years younger, but I think we can go one better than that. Let's make him look like a child with a beard. Here we go. Plus, right click and copy mask from layer two and down with the clarity. And that is extreme skin smoothing.